So um, as you know, in HER2 positive breast cancer, brain metastases are frequently diagnosed. So brain metastases are perhaps the most, yeah, the greatest threat for the patients with, with HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer. And um, as, as about 25 to 50% of patients will eventually develop brain metastasis during the course of disease, um, we, we wanted to see if we could find novel systemic treatment options. The point is that traditionally patients have been always treated with local therapy, such as uh, either stereotactic radiosurgery, if possible, or whole brain radiotherapy. And whole brain radiotherapy is something which we want to delay because uh, patients with her to positive breast cancer and brain metastasis tend to live for two years and longer today. And um, they will see the late neurocognitive decline due to whole brain radiotherapy. So that led to growing interest in the different systemic treatment options. And of course, uh, from Nancy Lin's wonderful data or Thomas Bagelot on the landscape trial, we have known that systemic treatment can offer significant activity. And uh, of course, these trials we have with lapatinib and capecitabine. We also have data for neratinib and capecitabine from the TBCRC 022 trial. And then we also had data for, for antibody drug conjugates with TDM1. More recently, we have learned from the randomized HER2 CLIMB trial that the triple combination of the third generation TKI to catenib plus tristuzumab plus capecitabine offers significant activity even in patients with active brain metastasis, so either newly diagnosed brain metastasis or brain metastasis progressing after prior local therapy. And in this population, the triple combination yielded a significant and clinically relevant prolongation of CNS progression-free survival and overall survival over tristiosumab plus capecitabine plus placebo. <clears throat> so that pretty much defines the novel standard for the treatment of patients with active brain metastasis. And then, on the other hand, of course, we will need further treatment options because uh, patients will eventually progress. And another very interesting drug at the moment is tristuzumab deruxtecan. That's an antibody drug conjugate consisting of tristuzumab, cleavable linker, and, and topoisomerase 1 inhibitor, deruxtecan. And it has been approved based upon the Destiny Breast of 1 trial, a single arm phase 2 trial, where it showed considerable activity in a heavily pre population. More recently, we have learned from the Destiny Breast of 3 trial that in the second line setting, this drug is much more effective than the traditional second line standard TDM1, the second generation AEC. So um, we did not know up to now whether TDXD, tristuzumab therixd, can have any activity in active brain metastasis. We knew from the Destiny Presto 1 trial that the activity in patients with stable brain metastasis is comparable to the overall population, but we did not have any data on uh, patients with, with active brain metastasis yet, and therefore the single arm phase 2 Texedo 1 trial was started. Um, patients who had received prior treatment with tristuzumab and pertuzumab could be included. They had to have active brain metastasis, so either newly diagnosed or progressing after local therapy as a Simon optimal two-stage design. And the primary endpoint is CNS response by central assessment according to RANU-PM criteria. Um, in the first stage of the Simon optimal two-stage design, six patients need to be accrued and available for response. And that was the data that we have presented at the 2021 virtual ESMO meeting. Um, meanwhile, we were able to accrue all the planned 15 patients, but here we presented the responses in the first six patients of the first stage. And in this population, we have seen a response rate in excess of 80%. So five out of six patients with active brain metastasis accrued to the dial responded to treatment with TDXD. So very early data, of course, small patient subset, but definitely the first 
the first sign that TDXD offers significant and clinically relevant activity in patients with brain metastasis. Um, we need to await the, the full analysis set, of course, and in addition, there are two other trials ongoing at the moment where TDXD is evaluated in, in patients with HER2 positive active brain metastasis. That's the DEBRA trial in Spain and Portugal, and that's the DB12 trial where there will also be an, a subset of cohort of patients with active brain mass.